hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without much ado let's get started oh great new we have art and illustration we're going to select the 200 pixel we have resolution 300 and we create so let's double click and unlock this background click ok head over to file place embedded and select this item the grunge texture so we place convert to smart object control tv transform so we'll make this bigger okay then we'll click the check mark to confirm so we're going to add a solid color form we have our full as black we'll click ok we're going to convert this layer to a smart object create a max and grab our brush tool so we have brush tool right here and we have the foreground color set to black so we just click ok we use the right bracket key and increase the brush this way and we'll click once okay we grab our move to v for move to so this layer selected and we're going to reduce the opacity down to 74 okay 71 is okay then we head what far place embedded and select this item we place click the check mark convert to smart object control c and we're going to make this bigger so we'll make this bigger and move it up we adjust it a bit click the check mark move it up and adjust it and we're going to create a max we'll grab our gradient tool so g for gradient to grab our gradient tool we have it set to foreground to transparent and we click ok so we're going to drag this way okay grab our move tool we're going to select this image and change the blend mode to multiply we're going to reduce the opacity down to 74 so we have it right here we're going to adjust this we adjust it a bit we'll click the check mark to confirm so head over to notepad and copy this test so we copy we grab our test tool and paste so we're going to reduce the size first to 11 change the color to white so we have the test color as white we click ok we have the font as this typo slab so we're going to paste our test right here we grab our move to zoom in ctrl a and we center ctrl d with select so we hold shift and move it up so we have it right at the top ok and we're going to select the custom shape tool and we're going to look for the star tool so we're going to select our star right here it's right here the star tool star tool all right i have already have it selected i'm just going to draw my shape right here so we have the fill as right we just press ctrl a and we center right here ctrl d with the select we move it up and we'll grab our rectangle tool we zoom in and draw a rectangle shape right here So we have the fill as right. We hold Alt and Shift. So we duplicate to the next to the other side. Okay, this way. So we have it this way. We adjust it a bit and that is fine. 
Okay. So we head what far? Place embedded. I'm going to select this, the place. So we'll click the check mark to confirm. You have it as a smart object and control T. We're going to transform this. So we're going to reduce it a bit to make it smaller. We click the check mark. Control A and we center control D with it select. So we're going to create a max. Grab our gradient to J for gradient. And we have it set to foreground to transparent. We'll click OK. And we're going to drag this way. Okay. That's fine. So we grab the move tool. We select it. Ctrl T. We transform it a bit. Click the check mark. We press Ctrl A and we center it right here. So we have to notify and copy this test. So we copy. Grab our test tool. I'm going to paste it right here. So we'll click the check mark. So how do I change the font? So we have Britanni. I don't know the font. So we have Britanni signature. Yeah. So we have the size a 70. Ctrl A, we center it right here, Ctrl D with the select. So we're going to adjust it right here. Okay. So we'll create a new layer right here, layer 1. And we're going to drop it. We'll grab our brush tool. So we're going to reduce it, the left bracket key to reduce the brush. And change our foreground color to black. We'll click OK. So let's zoom in. Let's make it bigger and press and click here once. Okay. So we have it that way. Ctrl T. We transform. We'll click the check mark to confirm. We'll reduce the opacity. So we have it at 75. That's fine. And we'll Okay. We head over to Notepad and copy this. So we grab our test tool and paste it right here. We click the check mark and change it. So we have the size at 24. We're going to change the font to the first one, the first one we used typo slab yes yeah, this one so we select this we grab our move to and adjust it to control a and we center control d with the select we hold shift and move it up this way okay so we head over to our place embedded select this item replace so we're going to click the check mark. We want to get rid of the white border. So we're going to grab our marquee tool and create a selection right on it this way. Okay. Oh sorry. Then we're going to create a max to delete that side. Okay. V for our move to control T we transform. We'll make it smaller. We'll reduce it and adjust it right here. So we're going to make it smaller a bit. Click the check mark, press Ctrl A and center it, Ctrl D with the select. Okay. So we're going to select this. All these four layers, Ctrl G will group it. So that's the title at the top, we group it. We're going to drop it a bit, we move it down. Grab our rectangle to and draw a rectangle shape right here. This way. Oh, 
Ah, okay. Then we're going to change it to no flow. We'll have the stroke color as white. And we're going to reduce the stroke size to 3. Click enter. Then we have this. Okay. So we're going to move this up. Oh, okay. We have it this way. That's okay. So we're about to file place embedded. And select this. So we'll click the check mark. Convert this to small object. Ctrl T. And we transform this. So we we'll reduce this. We'll make it smaller. And adjust it at the down here. Click the check mark to confirm. So we're going to grab our ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse shape right here. So we're going to change the color photo to white. Grab our move to and drop this layer beneath. So we have it right here. We'll drop it beneath the test as well, so we can have it right here. Okay, this is okay. We have it right here. Okay, with this layer selected, the ellipse, ellipse. So I'm going to convert this to a smart object. We have what filter and apply Gaussian blur. So we have blur. We have blur. Gaussian blur. We have the size as 153. We click OK and reduce the opacity. So we're going to set the opacity to 35. So we have it right here. Alright guys, thanks for watching once again. See you in my next tutorial. Bingo.